fast, chuckle nuts! Hello everyone, praise Godia, and Think Fast is Pac-Man World Repack. Pac-Man World Repack, it's a, it's a 3D platformer, and though this is a remake of, this is a remake of a game of the same name, never played it, but it's the beginning of a trilogy of games under the same name. Now I play, I have played two and three, almost to death, so, but I've never played one, so it'll be interesting to see what the first one has to offer. Anyway, this is currently Nintendo Switch version of the game. If you want to know if this game is available on your platform of choice, please check the description for more details. And lastly, if you're, if you're, oh, that's, hey, brain, it kicked over. Um, the Think Fast series is where I sit down with the game for 15 to 45 minutes, playing as if I just opened it up for a physical package, giving me folks my thoughts on the game based on that time alone. With how many times I've had to recite that line, it sometimes gets a little lost on me. Why? Oh god, the ghosts are not smart at all, are they?
Yeah, once again, I've never seen this game. I've never played this game outside of, like, outside of the other ones. So, okay, we're moving. Interesting. Oh, and I found the bounce button. All right. I'm trying to say, there's like, there's like a, there's supposed to be like, uh, with these games, there's like, Pac-Man's supposed to have like a kickflip of sorts where he just like flips his feet up and does an attack. Anyway, oh my. I was not expecting a, I was not expecting a power pellet to do that. Oh, I get it because it's a maze. I get it. Oh, I can jump. Why can I jump? I like how the tutorial is now here. That's actually kind of funny. So I'm gonna hang on to you. Okay, so I've got 40. I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm so used to, like, the, uh. Yeah, I'm so used to, like, very much, like, later games. Uh, the later games where, like, I have a, a kickflip of sorts, or a kick. kick. I'm supposed to be able to hit, like, another button and do, like, an overhead kick. Also, man, the game is... I won't lie, the game on Switch is running a little rough, but I guess I can't. you can't expect everything to be perfect. I'm pretty sure if, if I play on the PC version, it would be at 60 frames, but, uh... Okay, that's... Okay, so the water swimming physics are a little weird. Where if I hold B, like... If I hold B... I jump out of the water. There's like no pushing up to jump out of the water kind of thing. Do I have an air meter? No. So okay, if I push B, I will jump out of the water. Man, I, I, won't, I won't lie. Like, I'm playing this and all I really want to do right now is actually go play Pac-Man World 2. <laughs> but again, every game series has to start with something, right? Okay, so orange switch effects wear off after some time. I have to keep that in mind. But a lot of times with the Pac-Man World games is they're kind of collect-a-thon. Like, they're collect -a -thons in a sense. So, like, you collect all the fruits that are in levels. Oh, okay. That happened. Well, I already know what to do here. The angle's a little weird. The thing is a little weird, but I know what I'm know what I'm doing. But yeah, like the games are very much a uh, they're collectathons of sorts, where the dot I guess in this game the dots don't matter the dots themselves don't matter too much. But every other but uh, every other game the dots are actually counted towards the collectibles. Uh, I guess I can't do anything about that. Oh. Oh. So this was a. So wait, this was a thing even not. This is a thing even in the first Pac-Man world. Okay. Huh. Neat. They very much made it like, very much made it like a. Uh, what do you want to call it? They much. Oh, yeah, rev roll. But they very much made like the the. Uh, They very much made it like more grandiose in like later games. They made the metal, the metal power up. What is it? the metal power up? It very much was a. Uh... Oh, neat. Good to know. They made like made it more grandiose, kind of like Metal Cap Mario in '64, and I guess self games. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. That's kind of a weird thing about this game is that like because they figured out how this all worked they're like hey what if we just had you activate many switches by holding that rev roll button thankfully they had the foresight to be like but you don't go dashing off the platform when you let go uh it's kind of weird like there's a separate there's literally a, a separate button there's I feel like there should be something. Else. Let me hit this checkpoint. I'm curious. Jumping on that. I wonder if I can actually get on top of that building. Nope. <laughs> it 
It's angled just right where it's kind of, it, Well, if I can't do it, it's hard to do it. Uh, okay, numbered switches noted. But yeah, they have this stuff like every other game, but like, and all the other games too, but like, it's very much a... Okay, but uh, like, yeah, I can't talk. Oh, hello. But yeah, like they have this, they have these mechanics in like every other game too. But it very much is the uh, what is it? It very much like favors you to. Oh yeah, one up for the one I stupidly lost. Hello. Hey, that's a mechanic I'm familiar with. Um, what was I talking about? Probably something about how me mechanics in future games worked out and yada yada, so on and so forth. Oh, you can move the D-pad. Neat. I will say, like, I do know the original Pac-Man World was a PlayStation was a PlayStation One launch game. I have an apple. Oh, I don't have an apple. I now have an apple. So do apples. Okay. How's it going? Let's have a conversation. I completed a maze. Okay. Okay, cannot cannot butt bounce. Also, is that the end of the stage thing? Is just Well, I did it. I found the melon at the end, which I feel like is pure coincidence that I did it, but Hmm, very simple. But yeah, this game was originally a PlayStation 1 was originally a PlayStation 1 game. I'm not sure if it was a launch title. Uh slot machine. Do I stop it? I'm not very good at these. I'm not very good at timing slot machines. I just kind of hope. I really just kind of hope. That's really all I do with slot machines. I just kind of hope. Oh well. Here, take the dots. This is very strange. This is incredibly strange. No miss. Uh, I like how I was told I got no miss bonus, and yet I got one miss. What? Excuse me. What? <laughs> okay, so these are sta it's a it is all stage based. Well, I'm curious what this is over here. Oh, I can kind of go wherever I want, whenever I want. I see the structuring. Okay. Oh, warping. I, I see what's going on here. So I can kind of go to... I can go to multiple locations. Yeah, I can go to multiple locations, but I can't go to... Like, I can't progress throughout the game until I beat every stage in a location. Got it. Why is there a Galaxian here? Huh. Okay. Oh, this is the menu. Oh, I haven't unlocked. I was like, what is this? And it's like, oh yeah, I haven't unlocked it yet. Haha. <laughs> Smirt. Anyway. Let's do one more stage here. Oh. Wait, was there that stuff in this stage? No, there wasn't. Okay. Good, we're getting the more uh, intense mechanics, so to say. I like how I said that there were like stages in the last in the uh, last stage, but there's actually even more stages, or there's even more like things you can do at or state mages. There's even more mazes you can do in the game, and they're like triggered by hitting the Galaxian. Man, am I glad there's like no air meter in this game? I fear. Okay. I'm not punished. For, I'm not punished for being reckless. I will one day, but not today. Okay, why not? Which makes me worry. I mean, this is very much a. Uh, this game is very much a you know classic difficulty kind of game where 
I can very much just... Can I just run into him? Yes and no. I have not found a chair yet. Oh. I guess I'm up here now. But this... I do know this game is very much like a classic difficulty kind of game. Where you could probably die a lot. You know, a la PlayStation... Sure. You know, all of the PlayStation... Wait, can I not hurt this thing then? Okay, I can hurt this thing. Yeehaw! Let me in. Can I just walk on that, by the way? No, I do have to slam it. Yeehaw! It's time to, it's time to consume ghosts. But yeah, I like how I, like, I did call those mazes. But there's even more maze-like gameplay coming up in, like, a little bit. Because the Galaxians are very much mazes. Uh, Porkyfish? Porkyfish, please. Please. Stop. Ow. It's kind of magical. Like, I realize my terrible gameplay doesn't probably emphasize this point, but this is actually kind of a magical, kind of a magical game. And just, like... They, they, um... We're not going to talk about... <laughs> we will not talk about Pac-Man, uh... Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. Hey, cool, I killed it. We will not talk about Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures, but... They've, uh, after, like, you know, kind of struggling for a little bit, trying to figure out, hey, how do we, like, bring Pac-Man into the new age? Bamco, like, back in... 2000? I'm gonna say 2000. Found a way to, like, bring Pac-Man into the new age. Granted, it, bleh, granted, like, how they did it was via the, uh... Via the... Just make it a, just make it a 3D platformer that every company was doing, but they still brought Pac-Man into the new age. Oh. Uh, huh. I feel like they could have gone badly if I was any stupider. Spoilers, I'm very much stupider. Ooh, to token. Can I just walk? Or no, I cannot walk into the foreground here. Okay, I gotta go back. There's definitely something collectible this way. Swimming feels weird in this. I will say, like, later, uh... Hi! Do you kill me? Oh, you don't hurt me. I will say, like, later... I'm gonna go back for a uh, metal pellet, actually. Like, later, uh, later Pac-Man games, they do have swimming segments, but they also have... Yeah, the later Pac-Man games also do have swimming levels, but those swimming levels are very much, uh... Like, those swimming levels are very much just, like, straight up only swimming levels. I found the A. Like, they're only, like, they're basically, like, pure swimming levels. There's no... There's no, uh, what do you call it? Like, having to fight fight the uphill, like, the uphill trend, so to say, or having to fight gravity and water by tapping B to swim upward. But, they did still have, like, proper swimming mechanics within levels two. I could have made this so much easier. Well, I had to do it this way anyway. So I really just got ahead of the game. I really just got myself ahead of the game. What? Oh, I see. I was gonna, I was gonna jump in there thinking, oh, that's just a secret. No, it's a, it's a, uh, it's an obstacle scooter. It is very much an obstacle. So I see what, I see what fruits do in this game is that they're basically, they're basically, fruits are very much a gate check where there's certain collectible, there's certain locked things, and if you don't have the necessary thing, oh, hey, thanks for, thanks for the thing. They're very much a gate check, where if you didn't collect it, you can't go in certain gates, and that's how they force collectibles. Later on in the series, they... Later on in the series, it basically to equated to, like, 100%, if that makes sense. Anyway, I would like to I would like to do things now. Let me in the door. Whew. I mean, I'm glad they remade... I'm glad they remade this game. So, like, my people like myself, who never played the first game, because, haha, <laughs> Nintendo, baby can actually enjoy the entire trilogy of Pac-Man World, but... Oh, oh, lad. I don't know if this is it, Chief. <laughs> I don't know if this was the, uh... I don't know how I feel about this. I do love this game series, because, like, it got, like, much more fleshed out as time went on, and actually really good. I really do love the Pac-Man World games, but... Ooh, lad. <laughs> Bad bird. Anyway, can I... No, there's nothing down there. Never mind. Anyway, we just stomp on Parrots for fun. Oh, uh, maze? Oh, they just really just put a whole maze here. Oh, oh, there it is. I was like, where's the, where's the pack dot? Anyway, I'm just gonna do that. And maze complete. Excuse you? Excuse you? 
When I say maze complete, I mean maze complete. Go get him. That counts. Uh, I'm going, yeah, I'm going down here. Well, that was fun. Okay, I need a melon. Oh, I have to use a metal dot, or... Pac-Man, you have to use the metal dot. Okay, a proposition. What if I just use Super Pac-Man, or what, or... Yeah, I think they just call it Super Pac-Man now? Let me in. I want to see. I want I want the Dinky King laters. Also, I want this, because I want to... I want to be stupid and invincible. Hey, a token. Ooh, Galaxian. I have not collected the Galaxian yet, so I can't do the maze. Yeah, there are ma yeah, there's just there's just straight up maze levels in the game. You just you can go play a Pac-Man maze. They've made like kind of like oh, care careful how you say this, Scooter, because there's a reason why it's Pac-Mom now. Um, because like in the uh, in the other Pac-Man World games, there are Galaxians, but they just take you they take you straight they take you straight to the uh, Pac maze, so to say. Excuse me. They take you straight to the they take you straight to the maze, and then you do a maze. But the mazes are structured like how Miss Pac-Man are, where they're like unique. They're a unique maze for every instance of a maze. So even though it's you would think, oh, it's just Pac-Man. How can you vary up the maze? Trust me, Miss Pac-Man, they very much varied up the maze structure like a lot. And I'm going up. Speaking of Galaxian and another A, that's gonna be confusing. I missed. I missed the M. At some point, I miss M. Well, maze time. But yeah, they very much varied up the... I don't know if this will be like the classic maze. But this does... But I do remember, if it's just like anything else, this will factor into your... Uh, I need this now, apparently. Because we don't abide by the rules of how Pac-Man mazes normally work. Um, this does factor into your overall score and, I guess, completion, uh, almost, of the game. Because, like, this does factor into how many, uh, your high score, which in turn... Which in turn does factor into how, how, uh, how high your score is at the end of the game. Although I will say, again, I'm gonna say later games. Later games in this, in this series zoomed out the map a lot more. Uh, okay, good. No. Oh, okay. I, these are lives per stage noted. I was like, "Oh no, I am very much, I very much just got kicked out of the maze." Because like, again, later games is just like you get one chance at these, and if you fail, well, you're just out of the maze. But you do want to eat up ghosts and try and boost your score as much as possible, because the Galaxians are a variable score, almost, if that makes sense. Like the score of a, the score of these Pac-Man mazes will vary up depending upon how many, uh, depending up or the. The score for level will vary depending upon what what score amount you get the Galaxian. It's almost like you design the score the Galaxian gives you. This game is probably not so much the case, but uh, beggars choosers and all that jazz. Okay, where is the M? Where is the letter M? Can you find the letter M? I was about to say why did you why did you make that why you make that the voice you gave you gave anybody scooter and then it's like oh yeah, back in the nineties. Every protagonist spoke. Every like video game protagonist spoke like that. They either spoke like a like a streetwise uh, PI. Sorry, two things at once. Uh, they either spoke like a streetwise PI. And uh, this is definitely the M. Yep, there it is. They spoke. They spoke like a streetwise PI. A la D Inspector Gadget. Actually, Pac-Man had that problem. He was basically the nasally streetwise PI noise. Or or <laughs> grumble, grumble, I'm from Brooklyn voice. I like how I call it grumble, I'm from Brooklyn. If you ever want to, if you ever want to take like a trip down like a memory lane of some sort, excuse you. Okay, I thought there was wall jumping. If you want to take like a weird trip down memory lane, almost look up like some of the old 1990s or 1980s cartoon adaptations of video games. You'll be surprised. Oh, hey, a bell. You'll actually be surprised how much, uh, how much, how terrible their the their cho their voice choice was. But keep in mind, this is also the 80s and 90s. 
video games weren't like mainstream yet. So these were very much, hey, what about like a quick cash grab thing? Oh, I don't know if I wanted that. Because I wanted the dots. I feel like I shouldn't worry about the dots as much because they shouldn't. Oh gosh. Well, that was dumb. I shouldn't worry about the dots. Uh, banana? I do not. I do not. Oh, and banana! Cannot hurt ghosts. Oh, rev roll. Actually, um. Is that. What is that in there? Yeah, I do have the. Wait, did I? I'm sorry, what? Oh, so hicc hiccups, hi. Did I just pick up a. Did I pick up. Use a ribbon. Ra la ribbon wrapped apple just to get another ribbon wrapped apple? You. Okay, we're good. Hey, there's the bananas I was after. Okay. Now we can go back. Actually, can I just jump up from here? Yeah, I can. Cool. I need to be more care careful. Haha, <laughs> careful? What's that? Is that a type of soup? Oh. Huh. Neat. Uh. And he's off. Uh. Metal enemy, but I want this first. Nothing else here, huh? I figured I would actually get like a super pellet in order to destroy that, those ghosts, but I guess not. Bonus, what's bonus stage mean? Did I do, is that a good thing? Did I break it? Oh God, I broke, I broke Pac-Man. Oh, 50 second? I got, we're talking actual bonus stage? Oh. Uh. Okay. We're talking actual bonus stage. Well, ah, oh, dang it, I need metal again. I wonder if you can complete these bonus stages, probably. Anytime, like, anytime a product, like, anytime there was a game that was like this in the, in this time period, it was like, hey, bonus stage, you could actually clear the, you could actually get a perfect clear on the, on the, on the bonus stages. Oh, I didn't want to be done. I feel like there was more down there. Maybe not actually, because I did get a perfect clear. No, there was something down there because it was treasure chest didn't break open yet. Oh well. Oh boy, slap machines. I'm glad I can actually speed that up. Oh well, I'm not too worried about uh, I'm not too worried about getting bonuses. You can actually time this. I'm a little mad. There's no wilds. Oh well. I'm not too worried. The game seems generous as is. The game does seem rather generous as it is, so... Let's just take it. Oh, those give me lives. I... I'm glad you can mash through stuff. I'm glad you can mash through... Um, I or things so speed things up a little bit, but I think with that we actually get a good sampling of what of what uh Pac-Man World Repack is, and I will I won't lie I won't lie in Shurko and be like oh no it looks it looks fine on no it's a little rough looking on Switch but it's it's serviceable serviceable still I'm pretty sure on all other platforms it probably runs at a solid sixty and looks pretty good and looks really good but. If you folks are curious about Pac-Man World Repack, want to know if it is available on your platform of choice, how much it will cost you, things like that, do check the description down below for more details. But that's all for me for now. Thank you all so much for watching this initial reactions, and I hope you'll come back again when I react to a new title for the first time. You folks have a great rest of your day, and take care.